Hey friends, JR from Bulls here today with a look at the new Pathfinder video game, Wrath of the Righteous. Developed by Alcat Studios, makers of Pathfinder Kingmaker, which you might have played before, Wrath of the Righteous is another one of those top-down, isometric, control-a-whole-party kind of RPGs. We've been playing them since the dawn of time, which, as we all know, is the 90s. Nothing happened before Friends, Frasier, Seinfeld, and Rugrats. And we've seen titles like Planescape Torment, Fallout, Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights, even games like later Knights of the Old Republic owe their existence to games like this. Now, recently, we've been in a sort of retro renaissance of this kind of top-down CRPG, with more modern titles like Pillars of Eternity, Divinity, Original Sin, and even Baldur's Gate 3, uh, and of course Pathfinder Kingmaker, which came before this one. Wrath of the Righteous takes that formula and innovates, swinging hard for the Pathfinder fences. You can expect gameplay to quickly take a turn for the epic. It also means that Wrath of the Righteous is extremely crunchy. Crunchier than a bowl full of oops all crunch that you've sprinkled a handful of granola in. Uh, because this game adapts Pathfinder faithfully, and if there is one thing that defines Pathfinder, it is granular, crunchy character creation. When you make a character in this game, you are in for a time. You'll start off by picking one of the various races of Galerion, from the full, full suite of the Pathfinder legend lore, including all of the standard fantasy fairy you're used to, elves, dwarves, humans, half-orcs, that sort of thing. You also get to pick from Oread, Dampir, and Kitsune. So if you want to be a fox person, this is the game for you. But then, you also get to pick from the full array of Pathfinder classes. So you don't just get fighter, paladin, bard, barbarian. You also get a full, full sampling of all of the, like, Pathfinder sourcebook classes. Each of those you also get to pick from a ton of different archetypes within each one of those classes. On top of all that, pick your feats, customize your origin, pick a background, pick some racial feats. So if you're unsure about what kind of system fiddly things to, to go around with, I'd say try one of the pre-generated characters. Uh, they're a safe bet, uh, there's a lot of fun options there, and you will you know what you're getting. But how does the game play? Uh, like most things these days, it's real-time with pause. You can also switch to turn-based mode, so you can take direct control of everyone in your party. You can set AI behavior for your NPC companions, determining when they heal, when they use abilities, or you can do what I like to do and live out your dream of telling every character in your party how to play their character. The game is very robust. Uh, you get a ton of different interacting systems. Over the course of the game, you will advance in power and uh, take charge of one of the Crusader armies. You'll get to direct forces of adventurers to go and fight where they're needed. That means recruiting different soldiers, maintaining their morale, calculating their movement, and uh, making sure that they level up enough and in the right ways to take on the challenges that they have to face. Managing your army is almost as important as managing your character. It's, it's a whole other wrinkle of complexity that blends a bit of like mass combat, RTS slash uh, Heroes of Might and Magic kind of gameplay into this. Or uh, of course you can always opt out of it at the start of the game if you just want that crunchy party-based RPG. On top of all of that, there's also your mythic path to contend with. Mythic paths are special paths you can choose during the adventure that, that represent a journey that takes you into heights beyond mere mortal power. You get to pick from Pathfinder's various cosmic sources of power, including angels, demons, gold dragons, azatas, aeons, tricksters, lich, a swarm that walks, legend, of course, and devil. Each of these will shape your character in whole new ways. Then there's your companions to deal with. All of them will have opinions about you and your, your party and what you're doing in the world. So there's 14 all in all that come with their own quests, but if that's not good enough for you, if you want to make your own party, you can recruit customized adventurers past a certain point in the game that will let you play the game with your own party the way you want to. What else can I say? This game is epic. For those of you that want a game you can really sink your teeth into with tactical combat against world-shaking forces from day one, you'll want to check out Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. Thanks for checking this out. If you want more tabletop content, click the video and playlist on the left. If you want to check out other stuff, click on the right. Thanks for watching! Now I gotta figure out how to get out of this computer!